Hey everyone, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. My name is Rich. Today, I'm going to show you a really quick video that is going to solve another problem that you may run into using Notebook LM. I know the other day I created one that shows what happens when a YouTube video will upload into Notebook LM. Now I wanna show you what happens when you have an article that you want to use or a website that you wanna use as a source in Notebook LM and it won't work. So here is a website that I have. Let's say that my topic is World War II. I found this great article from a reputable source. You can see that this is Britannica is the website. I'm going to just take this URL. I'm going to cut that. Now I'm going to go into my notebook and I'm going to add this as a website. So this is all pretty standard. These are things that you probably already know what to do. But now when I bring this in as a source, as you're looking to the left, it is now highlighted in red, which means that it didn't work, right? It was not able to be imported. And when I click on that information button, it says that the source is behind a paywall. Now, if you have an actual source that is behind a paywall, then I can't really help you. But I feel that Notebook LM sometimes miscategorizes websites and articles that are not behind a paywall. As you can see right over here, I'm not logged in or anything. I'm not subscribed. This is just a free article that's on the website. Maybe there is a subscription service for Britannica, but this information is not part of it. So I don't know if the fact that there is a model that maybe you can subscribe to that it categorizes that as a paywall. But if this happens to you, don't worry. I have a workaround that is going to allow you to take the text and bring that into Notebook LM. So this will all be depending on what browser that you use. So right now I am inside Chrome. Okay, I'm going to bring this into reader mode. Now, if you've never used reader mode before, it's just going to be a little panel on the side of your browser that's going to show you all of the text and cut out all of this stuff and the advertisements that you don't want. So if you're on Chrome, you're just going to go down to, well, first off, you're going to click the three buttons over here, right next to the button that says I need to update my browser, no problem. And we're gonna scroll down to where it says more tools. And you'll see right over here, there is reading mode. So I'm going to open up reading mode. There it is. So now you can see that I have all of the text in this article right over here in this side panel. Okay, now of course I can kind of change this side panel if I want. I can customize the text. I can turn the turn the um, links on or off, that sort of thing. So a lot of really interesting features here. So I want to take all of this text and copy it. Now I could do this. I could sort of just highlight this and drag all the way down. But the other thing you could do is a, a Control A or a Shift A. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to do a Command A. And it's going to highlight all of this text, okay? You'll also see it highlighted on the actual website, but this is just telling us everything that we've got highlighted in reader view, in reader mode, I should say. And from here, now I'm just going to do a Command C or a, a Control C for copy. And I'm going to go back into Notebook LM. I'm going to add a source, but this time, rather than doing a website, I'm going to choose this option that says Paste Text. And I'm going to paste all of that text that I was able to pull from Britannica. You can see it all right over here. Okay, your text has been copied. Let me go ahead and insert that text. And boom, now you can see that it was able to give me a summary of the text right over here. Give me all those key topics, everything. So it's basically the same thing as this website, the only difference is, is that I added it as plain text rather than adding it in as an actual website. And again, not super convenient. Obviously, if we could just uh, add websites as sources, that would be so much more helpful. But I don't think that the 10 seconds that it takes to, uh, to copy and paste that text is that bad, especially when you consider everything else that Notebook LM does. Now from here, what I would do is probably just get rid of the source. And while this is fresh on my mind, just so I remember where it's from, I'm just going to rename this. And I'm just going to call this Britannica, World War II, whatever, just something that allows me to know that this came from that particular source. Let me go ahead and save that and it is all set. So if you're like me and you have websites that Google LM 
So if you're like me and you have websites that Google Notebook LM categorizes as behind a paywall when they're not, try this trick and it's just an easy way for you to bring your content into Notebook LM and use all of those awesome features. So thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.